Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and an update video for Escape from Tarkov. There's quite a bit to get over, uh, get it done before I head out for San Diego for TwitchCon for a long weekend, which will undoubtedly have some news break from there, I'm pretty sure. But nonetheless, for today, we got stuff about the ETS on Tarkov. There's a free weekend for Arena, some patches and bugs and questions like that that I get from a lot of folks. So let's get into it and get you guys all updated. Okay, so first up, we're going to talk about the ETS, which we can't usually do because BSG has a it's not really an NDA, but it kind of is. It's, if you talk about the ETS, you get kicked out of the ETS, but they put this out publicly so we can talk about it. They have moved the uh, final iteration of testing for Unity 2222 game engine um, for the update for BSG or for Tarkov, which just seems a little delayed. I thought we were going to get it with a wipe. We didn't. So now we're going to get a mid wipe, which is really interesting. But as far as uh, Unity updates go, there's some folks that think that this is going to be some kind of game changing deal for going to make desync better or cheaters better or you know the game better better graphics all that stuff it's just not the case now there might be some improvements with this and with them going through the ets system to figure out bugs with it hopefully the transition is smooth but most of the time with these unity upgrades we've seen over the years uh the only reason you know they're there is because more bugs show up what it really means is it's going to be new new utilities new tools uh for tarkov overall now this could eventually lead to good things as far as getting bugs fixed fast, faster maybe maybe there's some exploits in unity that it'll be closed that the cheaters use things like that are all possible but do not expect some game-changing deal with the game uh, because they went to Unity. But it's something that's needed and hopefully we will have it here sooner than later. So next up, I wanna quickly talk about the trader rep issue with uh, Escape from Tarkov. Lots of different bugs showed up in different ways. Long story short, some people lost reputation with their traders. They've got max, they've got level 42, they've got all their quests done, but somehow their trader rep got reset way back to like zero or, you know, half of what they need to have max traders. BSG has fixed that problem. The problems with that with arena and sinking and all those things have been addressed um, and aren't causing new issues. However, if you lost your rep, you still lost your rep. They are working on this. I see them comment every day or two uh, on Twitter, somewhere either from Apple or uh, even Dimitri mentioning that they are working on it to fix it. Now, what this fix is gonna be is hard to say. Um, I find it hard I not hard to believe, but I, I don't think that they have the data to necessarily go and fix everybody's individual account. And if they do, again, that means they're going to have to go through one by one and fix them, which is a huge undertaking. Now, that might still happen. They might pull that off. But what I think is probably going to happen is they're going to kind of figure out who this happened to. And then they're going to go give them like free rep, kind of like they did with when everybody got their account. Some of the folks got their accounts reset at the end of the last wipe. They just gave them you know, free level four traders, a bunch of money and some key cards and shit. So I would expect something more along those lines than anything else. And they might just do it for everybody. So as we get through the wipe, everybody might get a boost to their trader rep. Uh, Cause there's been some issues with that. I'll wipe. Some people had their trader rep from last wipe stay. So they started the wipe with like six fence rep or max, uh, max uh, uh, ref. Um, and it just, uh, it's a, it's been a kind of a mess this wipe with that. So this affects you no good, no like, news yet as far as it being fixed but they are working on it they are aware of it they aren't just going to ignore it it doesn't look like now quick reminder for marathon uh, marathon will kind of be going away the unique achievement will be available despite the ending of the event so that they said you weren't going to be able to, get to keep getting the achievement but you are now so you will still be able to get the achievement after the the event ends but a number of the quests in the chain um some of them are going to remove i don't know which ones but i would suspect the better ones maybe like fence or some of the others they might pull those events out uh, and then transition between locations will be available in all raids which tells me that uh there won't be like a marathon mode anymore and there might be but there you're going to be able to use that the transition locations in just regular tarkov which is kind of weird because i don't know why unless you were like stuck or something you'd want to go from uh, let's say reserve to shoreline via that extract, which now that I think about it, you might actually, because that's a way out on that side of the map that doesn't require other stuff. So that might be an interesting, interesting dynamic on some maps, especially if that transition is always open regardless of where you spawn. But nonetheless, it'll still be there. Uh, that's gonna be coming with that patch 15.2. So if you don't have some of these, like your labs, the first labs one you get, I would suggest try to go get that and, and try to get your fence one done if you want that uh, that extra XP and that weapon case. Now, quick mention of TwitchCon, care or not, that's fine. Um, if you're there, I'll be around most of Saturday, a little bit of Friday and Sunday. I'm kind of treating it as a quasi business trip family vacation, uh, gonna be down there enjoying San Diego. Big thing to point out that folks should care about if you care about arena anyways is that there's going to be a new map or a new location um so we'll check that out i'll see what i can do to get footage 
I don't know about running OBS or anything like that and actually getting recording, though I will try, but we'll see how that all pans out. Otherwise, I'll be poking around there, uh, saying hi to folks, checking out the, the area, the land zone, all that stuff with battle state games now with arena we're also getting um a free weekend the first time i've ever done this so you'll be able to play arena for free if you don't have it and check it out that will be from september 20th to the 23rd it looks like in the morning um east coast time uh which 6 a.m eastern i think that's like what 3 p.m in in australia something about that and then uh that goes till the 23rd again till morning on the east coast now i suspect this is because of what's going on at twitchcon and maybe some announcements they're going to get some you know it's marketing hype trying to drive some stuff around the game so people check it out and then again probably some information about the new map uh location for arena with that we're going to be getting a patch tonight um for arena the game's going to go on for about five hours it's 2 a.m edt so with that with the five hours that means we'll probably be looking about 7 a.m east coast time and about 9 p.m in australia for the two time zones there uh for arena coming back up and with that i think we're gonna have something interesting i could be wrong but we're going to be getting what looks like a shooting range and i'll make this full screen here so you guys can see it a little bit better um it is a shooting range in arena which this is a big deal. This is super handy because it sucks when you build a, a, a gun or a setup in a arena and you can't even test it. Um, this will let you do that. And hopefully that's coming tonight, though I could be wrong. Um, this might just be hype. This might be further down the road, but a patch tonight announcement for this, a tweet about this, uh, maybe having it down in arena because arena is probably going to be a version or two, I would say kind of ahead if they're going to have a new map. And uh, so a nice, interesting and very useful addition to arena coming maybe tonight but if not soon down the road but that's all i got hope this video was useful got you guys up to date on what's going on uh i'm anxious to see what we get out of twitchcon if anything um news wise or information ahead i'll do my best to talk to the developers but i don't really want to hassle them see if i can get any inter inf interesting tidbits from them there and then i believe there's going to be an interview with nikita on saturday i don't know who's doing it um but uh, come Saturday, obviously there'll be an interview and we can get some more information with that maybe. Other than that, we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It supports me on the channel and I always appreciate that from you guys. That's all I got. Wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.